going on guys? Today I want to talk to you about how you can find products with just one hour of work. Now I know it's a crazy statement. I know a lot of you are thinking I'm spending hours a day for a week or two and maybe finding one or two good ones. What are you talking about? You can't find products in an hour. Well, as many of you know, my Amazon business hasn't really been growing much due to the fact that I'm spending a lot of time on YouTube and my courses and other things, but I really want to pick that up, so I wanted to figure out a way on how I could still grow without having to do hours and hours and hours of product research because that's where all the time is on Amazon. So I'm going to share with you what I've been doing, just recently been doing, um, to try and start growing my Amazon business. Now, this is all outsourcing. So what I've been doing and just started doing is finding people to do product research for me for very cheap, 4 or $5 an hour. <clears throat> they'll spend, let's just say they spend 20 hours, they'll bring me two or three products they find, let's say one is good, I just spent $100 to find a good product for maybe like 30 minutes to set up something with them and look over the emails they send me. Um, but it's been crazy so far. Um, I've had one of my virtual assistants find one good product um, and I'm going to hire a couple others. But what you can do is you guys are used to going through Amazon and using Jungle Scout. So let's just use an example. Um, all you have to do, we'll use fidget spinners, of course. So we pull up Jungle Scout. All you have to do is go in here and create a little checklist for the person who is your virtual assistant, who you want to outsource this, outsource this to. Now, if you're asking where you're going to find this, uh, to people to outsource who pays that much, just go into Upwork, type in virtual assistant, and you can see $6.25 an hour, $6.50 an hour, $5 an hour. There's some in here for 2 to $4 an hour, $3.75. Now, I would message them, make sure they know English, and I know a lot of people will think this is kind of morally wrong, like paying them this little, but to them, this is a good opportunity. This is a good amount of money. This is more than they're already making, so this is how they're living. So if you want to pay more for them, you can. Um, but again, mine is $5 an hour. So all I do is give them a little checklist. So what is my checklist? It's the same things I'm doing in my head when I'm looking for products on Amazon. I'm saying, okay, go do product research. This is how you do it. Very simply, maybe make a video for them very short. Show them how or even show them my video uh, if you're in the course. And say, I want you to only bring me products that meet this criteria. So you say... Seven of the first 12 to be over 300 sales. I want seven of the first 12 to be under 70 reviews. I want the average price to be between 15 and $50. And I want no more than three repeat brands. And I want you to bring me all products that meet that criteria. Take a screenshot of this and email them to me. Now, let's say you're spending three hours a day every week. So you're spending 20 hours a week. Now, let's say you do that for two weeks. You just spent 40 hours looking for a product, and let's say you found one. Is 40 hours of your time worth to them? You'd pay them maybe $200 to do that if they're $5 an hour. Is finding one product worth 40 hours of your time, or is 40 hours of your time worth $200 to get them to do it? While you can then go spend that time working on other things, like if you already have products up, if you want to do more marketing for them, etc. So all you have to do is really provide them with a checklist and tell them how to go in and search. Give them your Jungle Scout login. And it's as simple as that, and they just email you what they find. And if you find one person doesn't work out, you can always switch, and it's not breaking the bank. Now, like I said, 40 hours is a lot um, for two weeks of work. So I personally couldn't spend that much time looking for products with all the other things I'm doing. But you can even hire vir uh, multiple virtual assistants if you really want to over here. I mean, there's tons. Now, you can go and look if there's any Amazon specific. So let's say you don't want to make your listing either. You don't want to do any work with Amazon. You know how to do it. You're going to tell them how to do it and they go do it. So Amazon listing. You can get people who will create your Amazon listing. So Amazon SEO, product rank, listing, reviews, listing specialist, $9 an hour, $10 an hour. You can get them to go do that too if you want. And guess what? You can get them to go contact suppliers, find suppliers, do all that work, message for, message them for you, uh, negotiate a price, and then right before you pay, you ask them to show you what they've got for, so they send you products, they send you suppliers, and then you can get them to go create your listing, and then from there on out, all you have to do is really manage, order more inventory, which you could even get them to do again if you want to give them the information, and it's totally hands-off. So this is going to be something 
I'm dabbling into a lot more. I just started doing this, but I want to start growing my Amazon business because it's been on the side burner uh, for a while from YouTube. So I really want to go full into this. Now again, you can say, look, I only want to spend $50 maybe to start to see if this works. You still get them for 10 hours to see if they find a product. Now it is tracked through Upwork, how many hours they work and whatnot. So they do have to go through a certain thing and you can set limitations for them on how much they can work or what they need to do. And I know a lot of people are going to be asking, well, why wouldn't they go take my product if they know I do product research or why would they not go start this? They don't know the ins and outs. They don't have the money to go start it. That's not what they want to do. They want to make their money here and keep doing that and keep you as a customer. They're going to make more doing that than the risk associated with Amazon. So that's kind of my current strategy, guys. I hope that was helpful for some of you because I know product research is the least fun part of Amazon selling. But if you do have $100, $200, I think you could get them to find a product within, let's say they're $5 an hour, you spend $100. That's 20 hours of product research. So I think it's definitely worth it. Again, you just give them a checklist. That's all they have to follow. I usually message them, just see if they speak well, get on a Skype call if you want. You don't have to. But again, this is on Upwork, guys. There's a couple other different ones too. And let's say you don't want someone overseas, you can click US only. And you'll see, you'll still get $9, $10 an hour, 7 oh my. But I hope that was helpful. I hope you guys can go and try this and make sure that you are finding someone who's good, you are secure with your Amazon account, and giving them a checklist and setting them up for success. You can't expect them to go find an amazing product without giving them kind of the steps on what to do and what to look for and explaining it to them. Again, I'd make a video for them. I made one for my guy. So... Let me know if you guys are going to go try this or if you have any questions. And if you're new, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.